Welcome to the Unimus 2.00 release highlight video. 2.0 has been in development for the last 7 months, and it is the biggest release of Unimus to date. Almost everything in the Unimus codebase was updated or rewritten in some way for 2.0.0, which makes this a massive release with a very large changelog. This video will highlight the most significant changes and new major features, but we would still recommend checking the changelog for full details on everything that has changed. The biggest new feature are zones, which add support for remote networks and distributed polling. The zones functionality is accompanied by the new Unimus core distribution. The core can serve as a remote poller or remote agent to manage many remote networks from a single Unimus server or to distribute load from the server to multiple polar nodes in very large deployments. You can create as many zones in Unimus as you wish, and each zone can either be polled directly from the Unimus server or from a Unimus core. You can have a single central server for many remote networks by creating a zone for each remote network, setting it to communicate through a remote Unimus core and deploying a core in that remote network. Similarly, you can split devices in your network across multiple zones, with each zone using a separate core to spread load from your server across multiple polar cores. This should normally not be required, as Unimus itself can handle polling many thousands of devices, but can be used in very large deployments. You can check our new architecture overview and zones articles on the wiki for more details on zones and Unimus core. The next major feature is support for full config change notifications, including a graphical diff over Slack. Previously, Unimus would only send config change summaries over Slack, but due to community demand, we have implemented full diffs over Slack. This requires reconfiguring the Slack notification sender in Unimus, so please make sure to check our blog article on how to create a Slack bot and integrate it with Unimus for this new feature to work. As soon as your bot is configured, Unimus will automatically send diffs to your Slack. Next up is mass config push scheduling. Many of you asked for this, so we made it happen. You can now easily schedule config push jobs from your already existing push presets. This heavily extends the automation capabilities of Unimus, as you can now perform unattended configuration deployments during off-peak periods without having to set your alarm for 4 a.m. at night. The push results section will properly contain results from the last push for scheduled pushes, and push result summaries are sent through our notification senders, so you can check on the results after the push finished. We have also added a new config push history table to the dashboard, which holds push summary results for all previous pushes. Another major addition is support for binary backups and backup push over the API. While most networking devices store and output their configuration in text files, some devices use binary backup files. With 2.0, we have added support for storing binary backup files and also extended all other systems in Unimus to support binary backups. This means change detection, diffs, notifications, and everything else will now properly work with binary backups. With support for binaries, we have also added a new API endpoint, which allows you to push binary files to Unimus as device backups. This opens new use cases for Unimus, as you can now push files to Unimus from external systems or scripts, and Unimus will perform change detection, notifications, and all other functions as expected. The new API endpoint also supports pushing text files to Unimus, which allows it to extend Unimus with support for any device even if we don't support it directly yet. You can script backup retrieval yourself and push the resulting backup file to Unimus for processing and storage. We plan to publish multiple blog articles over the next months to showcase how to use the backup push functionality with many different external integrations. Another new addition in 2.0 is support for PRTG and Observium in NMS Sync. We continue to add new sync connectors to NMS Sync, 
and with this release you can now adopt devices into Unimus from PRTG or Observium. We are adding new connectors with each new Unimus release, so if your NMS doesn't yet have a connector available, please keep an eye on our roadmap and future change logs. With all new releases, we also add support for new networking vendors and devices. In 2.0, we have added support for 22 new device types across multiple networking vendors. There are also many new minor features and many UI and user experience improvements in this release. Some of the more notable ones are the new device info table in devices, less job status indicators in devices, much more detailed job failure logs for failed discoveries, new result history tables on the dashboard, and the export backups feed functionality in the backups screen. We have also fixed more than 50 various bugs, issues, and UI problems in 2.0, some of which have been present in Unimus since 1.0. And a big thank you here goes to everyone testing the 2.0 beta and RC releases and helping us iron out all of these. As mentioned before, the changelog for 2.0 is quite large, and this video doesn't cover it completely. So if you want to see the full scope of changes in this release, please refer to the changelog. And as always, if you find any issues or have any feedback regarding this release or Unimus itself, please let us know on the forums, our social network accounts, or through live chat on our websites. Thanks!